Welcome back. So we have discussed two types of clustering. K-means clustering, where you pre-specify the number of clusters, and through an algorithm, you'll find the optimal um, positioning of the centers of these clusters so that you can most clearly separate the different observations in different groups. And hierarchical clustering, where we do not pre-specify the number of groups, but we start bottom-up or top-down with either everything in one cluster that we then break down whenever two observations of two groups of observations are further apart from each other, or we start with uh, the pair of observations that are closest to each other, put them in one cluster, and then uh, go from there. But either way, you end up with a system where um, everything is in one big cluster at the top end, everything is in single node clusters at the bottom end, and in between, we get different numbers of uh, clusters that we can look at. Now both, whether we do k-means clustering or hierarchical clustering, assume that we can somehow calculate the distance between two points, given those variables. I do not want to dwell on this and I will not talk too much about it. I just want you to be aware that this matters. So, uh, for example, if I have two points, I can maybe draw them quickly here. I have a point here, I have a point here. And this is my x2, one of the variables on which I measure the distance. And this is x1, another variable on which I measure the distance. Now I can think of the distance in different ways. The default that you probably think of immediately is this distance. Right, it's just the, the, the line between those two points and then calculate the distance. This is called Euclidean distance, it's on the next slide. But we could also, for example, think of, um, let me take this back. We can also think of the distance as this plus this, the sum of those two distances. Yeah? So we take the distance on the x1 and we take the distance on x2 and we sum those two. And that is our distance of the, uh, between those two. Uh, we can also maybe look at correlation on a number of these uh, x variables between these observations and see um, whether that leads to a distance, uh, measure of difference. So there's many, really many ways in which you can calculate these distances. Um, let me try to get back to the slide. So um, Euclidean is the one that you maybe think of most um, um, naturally, that is just this line between those two points. Uh, but you can think absolute distances, correlation measures, uh, distances between sort of categories uh, for if, if the underlying data is categorical data. So we can really think about quite a few dissimilarity measures. And the main thing here, just the main take home message is that which measure you take for the dissimilarity will matter a lot for the results you get from the clustering algorithm. So while I talked in the previous slide uh, a little bit about these different ways of linkage, single linkage, complete linkage, group average. And you should experiment with those and it will have some impact on how the clustering works. The impact is not going to be massive. However, the dissimilarity measure that you use, what distance measure you use, will matter quite a bit, really changes how you read the space and what kind of clusters it will find.